things in town has really changed. Like a week ago, that happened to my brother. Um, there was a substitute teacher and he asked, could I go to the bathroom? He's like, well, this is America. You need to say, may I go to the bathroom? If the president, I don't, if it wasn't Donald Trump, I don't believe this type of stuff would have happened to him. <laughs> and we can give you, you know, smiles behind the mask, too. Yeah, I do have one with like a smiley face on it. I didn't know that. I should have said it. Yeah. Yeah, we had in the drive-up yesterday someone who yeah. was COVID positive. Oh, thank you. I voted for Donald Trump today and Joni Ernst for senator. So Trump outperformed Clinton here, uh, I think like by about 5% in 2016. It's my hope that uh, Biden can carry Lone Tree this time around. It's going to be close. I believe that the Democratic uh, Party is going to be controlled by the socialists, and I think that's a slippery slope, and it's one half a step away from communism. I'd vote for a potted plant before I'd vote for Donald Trump. Uh, he can go to hell, and I hope he has the DOJ right up his ass. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited about that. Well, you know, you had to show up to vote for years. I don't understand why the mail-in ballot voting is allowed, you know, with the technology that we have today, why is it taking so much longer to vote in person than it did 20 years ago? You know, it should only speed up the process, so. I've never, until the last few months, heard such carrying on about the act of voting. With the steps that's been taken by this administration to kind of make it harder for people to vote, it's hard to see if these mail-in ballots will be counted uh, as they are, because then we've seen in Texas and Pennsylvania, we've had issues coming up with that. So I'm worried about it, but I think they are necessary to keep our democracy functioning. I completely support the concept, but I'm in this situation, I find it very concerning because of the slowdown of the postal system, like to intentionally suppress voters. And I, so obviously I went out to vote in person because I was afraid about the, my vote being counted. When I moved here, I kind of made it a thing to just vote in person when we could. And I feel like, you know, everybody's kind of doing their thing to make sure we social distance, so it would be okay for us to do that. Hi guys! Do you know where to vote today? Yeah, I already voted. Good stuff, good stuff. Woo! Yeah. Hi, do you guys know your polling location? Um, I think I'm good. Okay. Thank you. There's a sense of panic and urgency that there wasn't. In other cases, it was like it was okay not it was okay not to participate because it didn't matter. This year doesn't feel that way. This year, it's like if there's ever a year to vote, it's this year. This is more urgent than any other year I've ever had. If they're already pre-confirmed, well. oh, okay. one of them can okay. That's our goal. That's oh. our goal. The precinct 11 right now, where turnout has been pretty high today. Do you need uh, any oh, so three I'm personally not a fan of each, either candidate, but I just feel like, you know, Biden's done and said a little less things that could, you know, less detrimental to society. Just make sure my vote counts. I just think everyone's vote's going to count. And I think if you don't vote, it's a vote for, it's a, it's a yes vote for somebody because you're not voting. You know, whichever way you look at it, you not voting, if you want someone to win, is a vote for the other person. Us, um, obviously, people are torn between two weird choices, um, so it will be like every year, just kind of get over. Came to Sanctuary tonight for some good food, uh, for some big screams to watch the election, and for some drinks to uh, numb the anxiety. Today, I want to talk to you guys about a plan for after the election. So how many of you guys have a safety plan? Like a plan if riots were to break out or like if white supremacists come through and they start shooting everybody. How many of you guys have a plan? You ain't got a plan, Chief? <laughs> I'm really scared for like a lot of reasons. I think um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff like posts and people talk about um, like white supremacists possibly attacking people of color, regardless of the outcome, which is really scary as a person of color in Iowa City. I actually can't vote. <laughs> I guess that's another reason why I'm like so anxious and like scared. 
I've always been a Democrat, but this particular election, I'm really super exhausted and demoralized by what Trump has done to America and democracy. I'm prepared to like wait it out. I'm prepared to to not lose hope and, and uh, not let fear take over and just wait until all the votes are counted. The main goal is not to change just one president. The main goal is to change the system. Woo! And maybe, maybe, we are not going to speak with the change.